time become death, the destroyer of worlds. Yes, sir. Go, ya wheel of bugger. Well, the dragon has a dodge for his personality. Obviously, the marriage to Odin didn't last, but how did Fran end up a hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Or I can just tell you the story later. Go fake. It is them too early. You who walks among the living, my beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace. Yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sailor magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death. If only for a short bell. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring your bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. Chisel is ahead past this gate. Here we go.
that. This Show realm them. suffers without her spirit. Father, maybe we should look for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to Mom again. If we keep an eye out, look if you we... wish, boy. I will not be despised this fool's errand. This chisel we seek. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <laughs> there was an imp once named Famu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Famu or hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Harimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Harimthur ran into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Famur chased his son, but in his emotional state soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night. So far from home. Thor. And what happened next? You'll see. Thor killed him. Oh no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. Hostiles. A wolver! A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Giant chisel. Darn, that didn't seem to do anything. Trick lad. Thanks. <laughs> Magically sealed, I'm afraid. Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything.
We'll need some of this one. Atreus, to me! Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. What should we do? I'll find light crystal. Wonder what it's for. Yeah. 
What does it say? To Njord, we offer back the seas bounty. Ah, yes. It was believed that Njord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that, they loved and worshipped him here. World Tree Staff. That's Andy. Well, here's the base for the we saw. But how do we get it down? How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Boy! Right.
Wow, that was a sat down. Fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so... It sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh... It doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> you let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. I can do whatever you need. Question. I'm, fi I'm fine. I'm fine. And for the youngster? in that armor. Hmm, what shall it be? And what can I do for you? Oh, what more do you need?
I say so myself. Secret to any craft is in the fine details. And for you, what do we miss? Now don't be a stranger! So, this plan of yours? Can you guess it? Knowing you, it doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. But how do we move forward? really liked jewelry, didn't he? He even braided his beard before. I happen to think he looks dashing. Of course. Careful! My shop's right here! <laughs> 